Yeah. Fucked up out here. Thank you got all this shit like this is the shit all the kids on the street. Like, you missed all this shit. It's like, damn. I knew my little king was born in. Thought maybe the most important thing is you got me in. I don't know. 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 I don't they brothers. They brothers. They move everybody else out. Wait. I mean, if you look at it, over the last five years, over the last five years in that level, Probably last 10, we done had that much. Every project, every subsidized home, all that shit tore down. You know what I mean? It's like they moved everybody on the outskirts. But they moved and they moved everybody else in. The people that can for it. It's like, so y'all, let us live here. So low income, let us live here for this many years. And then just when we think something else finna change or y'all finna build a new home for us, y'all really building it for somebody else. And y'all gonna kick us out. It's almost, it's crippling. You feel like you get somebody something free for so long, they gonna get comfortable. But you get somebody something cheap for so long, they gonna get comfortable. You give them a check every month for them to get like, you know what I mean, for them to be satisfied with you. And then after so many years of you done got in trouble or you done went through this shit you done went through that shit, they snatch the world out of the phone. They tell you, oh, you can't get no, no um, sex slave out of because you got something on the record. It's like, look where you stuck me at. Look where I'm at. So, like, how the fuck I'm going to be able to afford anything or how I'm going to be able to get a job because I was forced into this shit. Like, a lot of people that asked to grow up around this fuck, these fucked up area, I ain't asked to be from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't asked them to have, have it hard growing up. Personally, like me, I wish, like, that's what I said in my rush. I wish I could have been one of them kids in the club show. But it wasn't like that. And a lot of people ain't got it like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, after, after so many years of tricking people into thinking that their place of living is good or their place of living is nice. And look what happened after that. Feel like if you got down, give somebody a fishing rod. You tell them to just go to the water. They swing it out there, but they ain't really got no bait. They ain't got, they ain't got no bait. They ain't got shit to fish with. All they got is a fish rod. So that's basically what I feel like they gave us a fish rod. They ain't teach us how to fish. You know what I mean? We had to learn on our own on how to go out there and get it. It might not be the right method of fishing, but we learn how to feed ourselves. And after you do that, then they come and tell you, oh, that's fucked up, but that's wrong. But you don't supposed to be fishing like that. We're going to have to suspend your fishing license. <laughs> then what you going to do? You're going to go around and take somebody else fishing. Take somebody else goddamn methods of, you know what I mean, fishing. Fear. And that's what I feel like they do with these homes and all these and all these projects. You said us here, but we ain't got the proper tools or the proper skills. You give us education, you give us all the fucked up work that you possibly can find. You put us in the district where the, the test goals are the lowest. You feel me? You stop the cook, you stop the kids from going to schools that are you stop the kids from going to the schools that would be worth something. You know what I'm saying? Like where they can actually get a good education. Although the inner city schools have decent education, but there are places that you can get better education. But they only want you to achieve the same level like 
After so long, the kid growing up in the street, he gonna want to do the shit that he see. He gonna want to, he gonna want to be like the dope dealer. He gonna want to be like the new dude. He ain't gonna want to be no doctor. Bro. That shit ain't feasible. Man. That shit ain't obtainable in their eyes. They want their minds. Although I stayed in school and graduated from high school, but like when I, when I'm growing up, I want to be the dope dealer. I want to be the nigga flashing with all the pretty bitches. Excuse my language. I don't mean to offend none of my beautiful women, bro. That's what I want to be, because that's what I seen every day. You feel me? Like, how the hell I'm going to be a, law a lawyer and a doctor? How the hell I'm going to be uh, like a, a pilot or some shit when it ain't none of them in the hood? Who the hell I got to look up to? Who the hell I can get advice from? I can't get advice from nobody but the people around me. That's my surroundings. So we become products of our surroundings. And after you do that, that's a strike. You know what I'm saying? Being black, that's a strike. And like, I don't want to use that as an excuse. But it's like, goddamn, like, damn. Then they switch the laws up on you. So it's like, where's it going? It don't seem like it's getting no better for us. We got a black president in office, and I think I cried when I seen that. My mother is gone away, and I know she would love to see that. You know what I mean? Cause you know when your mom, when you young, your mama tell you you are gonna be the first black president, you gonna do this and you gonna do that, and actually see her in the office, that's great. And the, and the, and like the punish, I'm mean, not the punishment, like the, the the criticism that he's taking, or the shit that they're telling him that he can't do, or or the shit that they're telling him that's wrong or, or, or this or that. And you tell him, and you, if people actually have a fucked up idea about him achieving the Nobel Peace Prize, like how can being the president is a fucking prize in itself? That that create peace from the beginning when you see that a nation has adapted to letting a man of color be the leader of the free world, and for people to criticize that, that's fucked up. It's like we finally got in the office. It's like, damn, then y'all want to tear him down. Like, don't do that. It's been times I didn't cry because I was down on my.